Fab Morvan acknowledges the seduction of fame in Millie Vanilli scandal surviving Millie Vanilli member, Fab Morvan, has acknowledged that he and his late partner, Rob Pilatus, were seduced by the promises of fame and gold records before their infamous lip-syncing scandal. Their rise to stardom in the 1980s and their subsequent fall from grace due to the revelation that neither of them sang on their best-selling records is recounted in the upcoming Paramount Plus documentary, Millie Vanilli. Fab Morvan stated that their discovery by German record producer Frank Farian, who had previously pulled off a similar lip-syncing stunt with the band Boney M, was premeditated. Morvan explains that they were young, inexperienced, and easily influenced by the promise of fame. The allure of gold records and the opportunity to live their dreams seemed irresistible. Morvan expressed that it took him 30 years to finally be able to tell his and Pilatus' side of the story. He believes that the public didn't truly understand their experience. He felt that he and Pilatus were vilified by the media, but emphasized that the deception was created by a full machine that involved many people. The documentary's director, Luke Coram, shared that he was shocked that people to this day show little sympathy for Morvan and Pilatus. Coram pointed out that they were not the ones who profited the most but were exploited. The film highlights the responsibility of executives and others involved in the scandal. Milli Vanilli was a highly successful music act in the late 1980s, with hit songs such as, Girl You Know It's True, Blame It On The Rain, and, Girl I'm Gonna Miss You. They sold over 30 million records worldwide, were popular on MTV, and won the Grammy for Best New Artist in 1990. However, their success came crashing down in November 1990 when Morvan and Pilatus confirmed the rumors that they had not sung on their albums and had lip-synced during performances. The duo was forced to return their Grammy. Morvan shared that Pilatus had deep-rooted psychological problems stemming from his upbringing in an orphanage. His adoption created emotional scars and a void in his life. The pressure of the deception led to self-medication and addiction. The documentary ends on an optimistic note, showing Morvan happily living in Amsterdam with his partner and four children. The film highlights the idea that the legacy of Millie Vanilli is not a tragedy but a story of reinvention. Viewers will be pleasantly surprised to find that the documentary leaves them with uplifted spirits. Millie Vanilli begins streaming on Paramount Plus on October 24th. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos.